Desi, congratulations. Slow start to the game, but an explosive finish to get the job done there, I'd say. Yeah, I I said that earlier. I, I first three, two or three legs, just couldn't seem to find a treble. But then midway in the game, found my feet and yeah, finished off okay. Did you need to put last week's disappointment out of your mind as soon as possible up on that stage and that's the perfect tonic? No, not really. I mean, on a different day, I win that game. You know, Rob took out three or four good checkouts, one, two, two. I think a 120 and another one, yeah, he, he done what he had to do and he took out the big checkouts when I was missing a couple of doubles, sat on you know one or two daughters out. But you know, that's the way the game goes. But just move on, play this one, hopefully win this one. The atmosphere looks electric and you got a good reception in your um in your Australian shirt. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. Now I just wear these shirts, try and get a crowd <laughs> on my side and yeah. It'll all be cushy like it was tonight, but yeah, it was um obviously when he was it in some decent scores and I think a one four three out, which is a decent shot, then yeah, it's um the crowd's against you, but most of that game they were with me. Mind you, part of you must hurt wearing an almost Australian rugby shirt, isn't it? The colours. As, as, as long as it's not white, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being back in Australia? Yes. To be honest with you. It was a little bit better with the family and everybody last year. It's been a little bit boring. I spent most of my time in the room this year. It's, yeah, Sam, um, if I come again next year, then I'll have to bring the family and do a little bit more because that's all I've done is sleep and sit in the room, which is uh, no good mentally, really. We saw you from your hotel room, the rugby training going on. Were you tempted to go over and, and have a play with them? I wish I did. Uh, like I said, <laughs> I have to in my room. For the last two weeks, I haven't really done much. You know, I had Johnny pulling out last minute, obviously, with his dad and everything. So it was it's just been one of those one of those trips where it's been two weeks of really nothing and just trying to hang around, play some darts, do the best you can and get home. You touched on Johnny there. Obviously, he's not going to be able to defend his crown. Um, we know you always want, want to win things, but would it mean a lot to win it for Johnny as keep it in the Welsh family as well with what's going on? Yeah, I, I said it when I was kicked out of the Premier League. If I don't win it, I'd, I'd like Johnny to win it. So, obviously, defending champion Johnny, he can't be here. So, hopefully, he'll think the same. If he can't win it, then hopefully I can for him. And tomorrow, business day, what's it going to take for you to lift that crown tomorrow? Yeah, just play a little bit better than what I have. You know, I'm a little bit inconsistent at the minute. I'm playing well in patches, but... There's reasons for that, but yeah, I'll do as best I can. And hopefully if I find my B game close to my A game, then yeah, I'll win this tournament. But easier said than done. Gazi, pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Gazi, you talked there about being bored in your room and not having a huge amount to do. Does that really shift the focus towards these tournaments and make them a sort of a big goal in your mind? Not not a big goal. And my big my biggest goal is getting home. I mean that's the problem. I need I need to. I think I don't know if it's best to bring the family, which it was last year, and yeah, I enjoyed it a little bit more. We was here for three weeks. It's not even been two weeks now, and I'm just thinking about going home. So sort of distracts you a little bit, and I'm always thinking, you know, two more sleeps and I can go home, which it shouldn't really be that way. Was there any thought of not doing these tournaments from your point of view, or? Not this year, but there definitely is for next year. Okay, thank you. Um, want to talk a little bit about the upcoming tournaments as well. We're event obviously at the sharp end of the PDC year. How much are you looking forward to what we've got around the corner? Obviously, you're going to be back home a little bit more, but we've got things like the European tour. Is that is that a problem at all? Or no, no, I'm I'm look I'm missing the next European, but the the last two I'm going to play in. I'm going to play in as many of the pro tours as I can now the back end of the year and look forward to the big majors that are coming up. You know, I, lo I love playing in the Grand Prix now. Never used to be my favourite event, but yeah, sort of um, changed that around and looking forward to the Grand Slam, which I'm in again, Players' Championships at the end of the year, European Championship Finals, and yeah, the big one at the end of the year. So yeah, there's a lot of events coming up and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the ones that are a little bit closer to home. Yes, Gazi, thank you. Noise.